Good morning from Oroville Earth Institute. We are here with Hilary, who's going to explain us what's the day, what's open house, what's Oroville Earth Institute and the project. Oroville Earth Institute is a very dynamic uh, team. We do uh, quite a few different activities. We have uh, training courses that go on throughout the year teaching how to build with, uh, with earth, with uh, compressed stabilized earth blocks and rammed earth and other uh, earth building techniques. We do um, architectural design, we do construction, we do quite a bit of research into developing uh, these techniques and uh, furthering uh, the possibilities of earth and architecture and uh, we do technology transfer, we, go, we travel throughout the world to teach um, uh, teams of people how to build with earth and um, how to adopt better land management techniques as well. Today we're doing a, an open house. We have some uh, stations around the campus where people can uh, practice uh, earth building techniques. We want people to come in and learn a little bit more about earth and architecture and uh, about our activities and uh, just uh, get a little bit more in contact with, with the earth and in contact with uh, our team. What about this? So this is, this is another um, station, this is adobe and over here we have a cob wall going on and uh, this is a very different uh, earth building technique. Um, adobe are sun fired bricks and so they're made with mud with um, a little bit of straw and sand uh, added to the mix and they are um, compacted just by hand within these uh, small uh, frames and uh, and then dried in the sun they don't require any um, they don't require any uh, stabilization or any uh, firing to be strong just and cooked in nature exactly basically by yeah. the sun yeah. Hi, Shobit. Hi. We saw you making this. The Can cob. you explain? Yes, yes yeah. cob. So uh, this whole wall has been made out of layers of cob. So as you can see, we just take that wet mix and then you take like this huge ball of the wet mix, just like throw it onto this and spread it. So you can see that this layer we made yesterday and it's pretty hard. Mm. But the thing is that this has been cracking because uh, the straw content was a little less. Mm. So we've uh, sort of added a little more sand in this mix to compensate for that. And this we just made like a couple of uh, uh, minutes ago. My name is Lara. I'm one of the co-directors of the Earth Institute. Um, so my specialization is actually in the construction of earthen arches, vaults and domes. And that's why I came here for research six years ago, but now I'm a permanent part of the team. Great. And uh, here in the AVD workshop, we're teaching people how to build different geometries of arches. And we have one example of a, of a dome here. But effectively, there are a few things that we try to teach, which is the constructive technique for having a very good, high quality arch or dome. And the second thing that we teach is just a little bit about the forces that are taking, the compression forces that are taking place in the construction of an arch or a dome, because any builder that's building an arch needs to actually understand how it stands up and why it stands up and how to load it and how not to load it. Yeah, the physics behind, the basically. Physics. Yeah. Precisely. Yeah. But it's in breaking the arches that we better understand how they're built and how they're stable. So, okay, thank you. Build something and then break it afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds interesting. <laughs> this is a small demonstration of some of our manual CSEB presses, CSEB being compressed stabilized earth blocks. So um, you can see a little bit the evolution to what we have right now, which is the ORAM 3000, which um, we use still quite a bit for our block production. On the other side behind where the ABD was going on, the arches and domes, we had um, the motorized machinery. These are different soils that have been collected from, um, from different countries and uh, are showing a 
very diverse uh, uh, different colors and we can actually show you over here there's a whole um, uh, display of uh, a, yes, a collection of different soils yes. from different places. You also have a library so we that's do. open to public. It's open to public, but uh, you actually we don't lend out. We yeah. but we allow anyone from the community to come and use our resources if they want to in in the office. Yeah.